I've lived here since 1994, uh, and uh, my wife died about five years ago, so I'm living alone, and it's good for two people, it's good for one people, person, and uh, uh, it's just, it's very nice. It looks nice and the flowers are in blue. Do they do any kind of social activities like in some of the other oh. buildings they have uh, group they, well, they activities have, and okay. things each, or meetings? Each building, this is building one with the three entrances. See, okay. it's one building, three entrances. And each has its management group and they have meetings and uh, the um, umbrella organization, which is all 138 units, mm -hmm. has the uh, but also a management group. And uh, as you probably have noticed, all of the uh, porches have been replaced or are in the process. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing on the other yeah, side? Yeah, yeah, and uh, for, for every place. And uh, uh, I don't know, I, <laughs> I like it. Well, the landscaping's nice. I'm told yeah. years ago they were in a, won a prize for the landscaping. That's true. So there's, uh, there's a swimming pool here, isn't there? It's, it's right down. See that building there? They oh, can see it sticking maybe we'll go out. Do you use that? Oh, yeah, you should. You should. Yes, yes. That's very nice. Is there outdoor. a party room with that also? or? Uh, no, there's no party room. It's usually the social deal is a picnic outside down by the pool. Yeah, no, but there's no party room like some people. Is there a storage, extra storage outside of your unit also? Uh, yeah, in the you could see it. The you could see my garage. Okay. I just opened it. Okay, it's and, a one-car garage with storage. Well, it's uh, you can build your own uh, elevated cage with you put stuff in. You can you're welcome to go look at it if you want to. And some people build various storage devices. There's room in front of the car and above it. So that's uh, anyhow, that's... that's and how good. about your laundry facilities? Okay, um, I have, like everybody else, uh, a washer and a dryer in a closet, which in this building is vented. So, you know, to blow the uh, stuff out. Um, so each unit has its own washer and dryer? Yeah, you, you you put your own in, of course. Right. But yes. Okay. And, uh, Eat in kitchen. There's a place for a table in yes, the kitchen. Yes, yes, there is. Though many people will eat in the den, which is well. You've you've seen the layout. You yeah, but that. our our viewers may not tell us a little about the layout. We're we're they're going to go on the website. Okay. So then they want it. They're, you're walking them through it. You're their guide. All right. Okay. Well, the I think there's the layout favors privacy because. There is the front den where if somebody who's a night owl is in there watching TV and somebody else can be asleep in the back bedroom and they're far enough apart so that... Uh, Thank you, that was nice of you. Far enough apart so that uh, one doesn't bother the other. So for a married couple and even there are some people in here that have little kids and that works out, seems to work out pretty well too. That's good to know, there's lots of diversity. Yeah. Now, my unit has a double patio. You can see the one in the front. And at oh. the other end, there's another patio. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, that's very nice. And of course, we bought this from my mother years ago because there are no stairs. You can open those sliding doors. And if somebody has a health problem, it's a no stairs arrangement. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank very you. Much. I'm glad we got to well, talk. One last question. Do you yeah. know what the pet policy is? Uh, I'd have to, to check it recently, but basically it is no dogs or cats. Those that are already here are grandfathered in. So uh, that's the way that goes. But a lot of places have gone to a no pet. You know, there's pluses and minuses to it. We think that. Uh, Let's say, I know a number of condos that have gone to a no pet uh, situation. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're playing peekaboo with uh, Linda and Bonnie here. Well, we're at the pool house and we are showing you that there are Bonnie changing rooms. Yeah, uh, his and hers. And it's really nice to have a pool. I know we don't have summer that long in Chicago, but when we do, it's really nice if you're not right on the lake to be able to cool off in a pool. And this is one of the few outdoor pools connected with housing 
multifamily housing in Northfield. So you're doing and quite a very well work. screened by the Arbor Very well screened. It's, it's all shaded. Hard to see. It's yeah, early May, it's so I'm open. guessing the pool isn't open yet. Caution warning. It's tarp covering it, but we can see that it's a nice it's size pool. Fans. Little dog leg in it. Plenty of space <laughs> to sit around. This looks awful. Awesome. Like, oh boy, you wouldn't be able to sell it. Green hedging all the way around. And there's some more garages for the units that face west. And porches, are, all the rear porches are being redone out here. So pretty soon it's going to be really spiffy. Right, it'll be gorgeous. Okay, so, so here we are finishing up at Northfield Square condominiums. And next we'll be heading to Colonial Square, which you can see behind us, Colonial Lane, which is right behind us. And those are a little bit bigger, well, and they're multi-level. Maybe we and have another simple, lady that wants to be in simple townhouses, not, not kind of Correct, and they have a lower level. Some of them are finished, some are not. They do not have garages there. They do have parking spaces. 